I'd be out in the world um, doing a job that I really liked, or at least a job, but now I've ended a bit of an unemployment in life. So I've decided to sort of vlog my experience um, more as like a keepsake for myself and to keep me like safe and give something to do because applying for jobs, it takes so long, but there's also only so much I can do with it and I feel like I'm actually doing something or doing something useful. So if you're a recent postgrad, trying to find a job, I mean, you just want some company, just like follow along. Um, today's video, I'm moving into my home, so I'm just documenting moving all my stuff. Five years worth of stuff, I moved out when I was 18, never had a gap year or anything. Um, did three years undergrad, did a master's, graduated that master's in this December, got a job, um, I've actually got three part-time jobs, so I've lost one of my jobs. The other job I'm using on my annual leave, so I'm still like I'm still employed, but like not really um, until the end of like August, and then I've got another part-time job, which is like a zero-hour contract with a football stadium. So obviously that's not really like there's no matches on until like August. So for the month of July, I am um, yeah. Come on, you. Let's make a start. You can be my assistant. I reckon the first thing I'm going to do is put a wash on because. I've not used these clothes for like weeks because I did like three trips back from Liverpool to like move all my stuff in and I've not used these clothes so I reckon I could probably sell a lot of them off. I just get very attached to clothes because like I just need them for different things but like they all need a wash anyway and I'd just rather like know they're all being washed and then either put them up into the loft or as I said sell them um, but yeah that will clear up a bit of space. Next thing, I think, it's to move those boxes, see if I can get them into the loft. Um, fuck, I can't be asked. Okay, I'll do it on sport. <laughs> Did it. So as you can see, we're not blessed for space. Ooh, spooky. I think that's falling down though, so I might have to just rearrange everything first. Like, I wasn't opposed to getting, like, a storage unit, but my mum said it would just be a waste of money. Which is, like, true, but also... Ugh, there's no space! <laughs> the next question is, will this box fit through this hole? I'm not convinced. Like, I should probably use this time to actually get rid of stuff, because I don't like how much stuff I own. Like, I would just love to be able to put everything that I own into my car and just travel anywhere. Um, but then also like a sentimental thing is like this is me and Jeremy, you know the dog that keeps on popping up because he won't leave me the fuck alone. Right, let's give this a go. Um, oh, it's something very secure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fit. Fuck. Oh, it just seems to be like a sentimental bigger. So this seems less stable, but hopefully there's enough of a gap to get it in. Ah! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Right, I need to see if the square is actually big enough. Come on, big. Okay, all right, okay. How do I get it to the edge? Um. Okay, we go again. All the lessons I have learnt. Good luck at all. I need to move that 
I can get another one in, and then another one in, and one in. The baby is just so bad. So the plan for yesterday was to move everything out of my car, or at least um, we were into my room so I can move stuff out of my car. Um, but we ended up watching the cricket instead, and then the football, so that's what got done. Um, and then today we're going to go watch the cricket, because apparently it's free in our town, so might as well. Like I would like it done, but also I'm probably going to be in the for a bit, so yeah, no rush really. I don't mind these ones, I'm going to make them Right, so we're on day three of moving into my old childhood home um, and I think I need to start some washing. Yesterday, didn't do a lot. It's actually, <laughs> it's surprisingly easy to keep yourself occupied when you're unemployed during the time when Wimbledon's on, there's a lot of cricket on, the Euros are on, so the Olympics will be on. So no, I need to like, I just, I just need to get stuff done in the morning is what I've learned. But I'm gonna start off by doing a wash. Um, Cause basically if I've got a load of clothes that go into storage, I need to like wash them now so they don't smell like horrendous when I get them back out. Okay, wash is on. Now to move some more stuff to the loft. I need to sneeze so, so bad, but it's not coming. I'm currently playing a fun game of is it hay fever, is it the dust, or am I starting with a cold? Comment below which you think it is. <laughs> There's already so much more space for activities. I am having to take a sneeze break though because oh my god I've just stood there for like 10 minutes not able to do anything because I've just been Edgy! 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 You go there. So these shelves have got me through a lot. Um, I got them back in like 2021 um, and they're just like £10 ones from Ikea. Um, I think they're supposed to be for outdoors but like I've put them together, like taken them apart and put them together like three times now at least. Are you wanting to help? Are you wanting to help? Or are you scared of the metal because it makes a noise? Uh, I understand. But well, I figured if I make these, then I've got like somewhere to start like actually putting stuff that's like not in a bag. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's because everything's like in bags and stuff, it looks bigger than what it actually is. Whereas if I actually just put everything out, then it'd be fine. And I think I'm going to get myself another set of these drawers for clothes for sort of day to day, what I'm realistically going to wear. And then I need to go like through everything and just start a big old vintage pile. So stay tuned for that next video, I guess. Uh so day three, four, I'm losing track. Today I've woken up, done a 10k, feeling good. Had some breakfast, see my bear. And today I'm going to get finished moving in because <laughs> today's Thursday. So next week I will start properly job hunting, properly sorting stuff out. I feel like the feeling that I'm feeling now is just so like lost and like lonely and just like in such an in-between stage where I've got no idea where I'm heading, like just like I'm driving with no clue where the destination is, what I can actually be doing to actively work towards what I want. Um, and then I'm just like feeling useless in the day. Um, yeah, I'm, and moving home, normally like in the past when I've moved home, it's like, well, my friends are here, like the friends who I had at school we've gone to uni like we came back and then we'd see each other um over the summer but i just feel like all my friends are so so like we're just all over the country now i don't have like a group to just message and be like oh like do you want to go and do this and i feel like i make a video on this as well i'm just feeling like fatigued from trying to like sort out seeing people and messaging people all the time especially like when you don't get the response like and it, you just feel like nobody wants you there and yeah I just feel lonely I just feel like I see people and like I could be friends with you but I don't know how to like instigate that like I just wish I could be a kid and just go up and be like hi can I like play with you because like just things like I just want to go to football and just play like, I just want to go to like the park 
like just things like I just want to go to the park and play catch or like I just want to have a barbecue I mean the weather's been shy but like just go to the pub and have some drinks or play some cards or just something simple I don't like have anyone to do that with and I don't know where to start on making friends which sounds so sad and then I don't know like how long I'll be here so of what like how much effort to put into that practice if that makes sense um but yeah anyway subscribe for part two comment below your favorite thing about being in your mid-20s or what your favorite thing was about being in your mid-20s or what you're hoping your mid-20s will be like bye <laughs>